Welcome to Design and Source. Okay guys, so one of our clients, Sonic the Hedgehog, has asked us to redesign their packaging. The item is this small toy. It goes into a plastic piece. Then there's another plastic piece that goes over it. There's yet another piece that fits on the back. As you can see, there's a lot of packaging, plastic, paper. Where do they go? Can some be recycled? Can some not? The less material, the smaller it is, the more recycled content, I think the better. I have asked our two designers Derek and Maddie to do three different redesigned versions for us. The three designs we came up with, they use the same overall graphics and colors. However, they're much smaller. So this design uses a strap holding it in place and you could actually feel and see what the toy is going to look like before you buy it. It also keeps it secure. I think if I was a child and I was in the store and I saw that, I would love it because I could touch it. I could see exactly what I'm getting. This package also is great because instead of throwing out the packaging when you open it, you could save it. And it has this nice little poster here printed on TerraSkin paper, which is waterproof. I think it's a good idea to be thinking about other ways the consumer or the person who's buying it will want to keep the packaging and reuse it instead of just throwing it away. For this design, it's a similar idea, except it's enclosed in a plastic casing. It's a little bit more secure in the theft department, and it also protects the product if it falls off the shelf. You know, it could get lost on the shelf with lots of other bigger toys. That is true. It's not as exciting. This is the most secure design. The paper actually covers the product really well. It has a little bit of movement inside the box. However, it doesn't show the product. It's so dark. You can hardly see what's in there. Yeah. You don't know what it is. It's very small on the shelf. You can hardly see it. Right. There's not yeah. enough light in it. I think that this version is going in the right direction. The packaging is really also a toy. Here's an example of a package we did for a beauty store. They can open this up. And voila, this is an example of making the packaging useful after you get the product home. One of the materials that we like to use is recycled paper molded into a package, similar to the way they do A cartons. What you can do is plant your seeds in here, and this can be a flower pot. You can actually put the whole thing in the ground and it will disintegrate into the ground. So come see some of the materials that we use that we think are good choices for sustainability. All of these bags have actually been made from soda and water bottles. If you put it in the right recycling bin, it gets cut into little chips, melted, made into some fibers and filament, and then that gets spun into thread. This is very interesting and new, bioplastics. These are bioplastic and these are made from corn instead of petroleum oil. Let me talk about TerraSkin. It is a paper-like material that is made out of stone. Because it's actually waterproof, it makes a great shopping bag because it will protect your item in the rain. And we'll actually show you a little experiment with TerraSkin now. Let's write on the TerraSkin, and then we'll put it inside some water and shake it around. And we take it out, 
and it looks good. It also doesn't rip, it's still very strong after it got totally wet. If you take a coin, you can actually write right on the terror skin and not need a pen. So now that you've seen all of our ideas and brainstorming techniques, we want you to be the designer. Use your imagination to come up with packaging that maybe can be turned into jewelry, some kind of protection in the rain, something to use around the house. Try to make a package that will never have to be thrown away. Woo!